Imagine you've been in a serious accident. You've sustained major head trauma and are in dire need of an operation. The neurosurgeons handling your case are among the most experienced and skilled in the profession. But even they, in all their years of experience, haven't seen a case that's quite like yours. Not only are you unique from an anatomical perspective, as we all are to varying degrees, but your injuries compound the complexity by distorting various geometrical structures within your head, creating an entirely novel medical problem. So, the neurosurgeons prepare. They use various medical imaging technologies to take a thorough look inside your head, and they plan what they believe to be the optimal procedure for your specific case. Now, the surgeons are experts at this process. It's what they do. But there's an inherent disconnect between examining images on a computer screen and clinical reality. They won't be able to evaluate their plans until they actually perform them within the operating room. So, prior to commencing your procedure, they notify you of the extreme risks and the high likelihood of complications. It's all very uncertain. Now imagine an alternate reality. In this scenario, there's less uncertainty. The surgeons enter your room and they announce to you that your procedure is successful, but you haven't yet been operated on. Are they using some sort of time travel technology to look into your future? Certainly not, although the reality may as well seem to fall within the domain of science fiction. The surgeons have used your medical imaging data and have created a virtual clone of your anatomy. It's a digital you that they can operate on safely within the virtual environment of a surgical simulator, much like a pilot would train on a flight simulator prior to embarking on a journey with a novel aircraft. Your digital self isn't quite you, but it looks like you, and it feels like you. With this technology, surgeons can follow the traditional preoperative planning process that they're both familiar and comfortable with, but now they can evaluate their plans. They can refine them. They can experiment, and they can practice. This technology is known as patient-specific surgical simulation. And in the context of preoperative planning, we call it surgical rehearsal. In my lab, we aim to create the tools and techniques to allow surgeons to rehearse on a number of neurosurgical procedures. We do, of course, face a number of challenges. For example, how do we ensure that we're accurately representing the patient in the simulator? And further to that point, what are the implications if the simulator misrepresents a patient and that leads to a surgical error in the patient? Well, we're working on it. Ultimately, we want to provide surgeons with the tools to reduce surgical risk, improve patient outcomes, and reduce the uncertainty in the clinic. More than anything, we want to be able to tell you that your procedure is successful before you even have it. Thank you.